Okay. I got some parts to for working on my uh, trailer. I got two caps, a piece of galvanized pipe, some washers, and yeah. Um, I don't know if y'all remember my video from yesterday, but ran a little difficulty uh, trying to drill a hole to put carter pins in the trailer. I'll be back in a short and show you what I'm doing. Okay, this is what I come up with so far. I'm gonna tighten that up more. I should have uh, <laughs> clamped the. Uh, the nipple and the vise and put the caps on first but anyway I just cut it right there and uh, have my dang daggum uh, grinder kind of using the side of the vise as a guide you can see I've done that before <laughs> but anyway I get a pretty straight cut like that it's straight straight enough for what I'm doing yeah but uh yeah all I gotta do is uh drill and tap that out to quarter 20 in my drill press over there and uh do my other one tighten that cap down real good and uh yeah this is how it's gonna turn out uh. got a little hub cap <laughs> i thought that looked cool they didn't have me locking collars so I went with this idea at my local hardware store. Anyway, catch you later on, uh, you know, the rat trailer build. And by the way, rate, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for watching. And, uh, yeah, hopefully I'll have some rat mower videos coming up here real soon on a pulley swap. Okay. Uh, just wanted to mention, I think I, Darren talked about using one of these on a, his, uh, his side grinder. Man, I love these, uh, flap wheels or whatever you call them. What do they call these things? A flap disc. Harbor Freight. Uh, got assortment of grinding wheels, cutoff wheels, which you saw me use in a previous video. And, uh, now I'm gonna, uh, bring this edge kind of straight and clean it up a little bit and uh that's about it i'm probably leaving galvanized probably paint them flat black when i get some more paint they wanted 239 at my hardware store i can get them for 99 cents or a dollar all day at walmart and lowe's so i'm gonna wait and buy me another six pack of flat black <laughs> anyway uh yeah anyway uh, these little things work great. I'll show you a little bit. before and after look at that look at how pretty that thing looks look how rough that one looks love my flap disc here's a little technique i came up with for clamping it's hard to hold both ends plus tighten this clamp at the same time so that's what i come up with now I'm going to drill my quarter inch uh, drilling tap for quarter 20. And uh, yeah, the bolt head will stick out a little bit. Uh, I didn't think to buy any damn Allen screw, Allen set screws. And I might look to see if I have some, but probably going to go with just quarter 20. And I uh, might have some cap screws. Cap screws like an Allen screw. Anyway, get back with y'all in a little bit. Um, 
Here's a little neat thing that uh, somebody on Facebook come up. I mean, it might have been Facebook, but I'm pretty sure it was YouTube. <laughs> um, and uh, I stole it from him, man. He uh, took a box in wrench and uh, put his chuck key in it. And man, you can... Works great. Um, I love it. And I even got it where it's sitting back in my little holder up there. <laughs> And it don't hang, it don't get in the way too bad. And it's perfect, man. I ha I wound up using a 10 millimeter wrench because I had a couple of them. Uh, a good craftsman wrench too, man, because I like the idea so much, you know. And uh, as you can see, I put a good gobble weld on it. Front and back. Didn't really worry about getting it too pretty, but I love it. Thanks for the idea, whoever you were out there. I watched so many videos. Uh, I, I was going to try to go back and find the fellow and comment, but hey, maybe he'll comment and say, yeah, that was my idea. Thank you, YouTube user. Also, another thing, uh, a serious note here. You Dizzy, 1969. He's got the uh, building the fire bike. He's also got the John Deere bike, which has up, been up and ready, rolling and in parades. Wonderful uh, individual. Uh, good friend of Tough Dog and, uh, and Stymie from us. Uh, from, oh gosh. Uh, oh gosh. The fellow makes the stickers. I can't think of his name from his, his company right now. Uh, Sul Sulfur City Designs. Yes. Anyway, I'm great. I don't like to be on camera, but I'm going to do it anyway. But you dizzy. Um, I'm going to make sure it's still rolling. I hit a button. Yeah. Alright, we're back. Apparently this camera only lets me shoot 2 minute, 10 second clips. So I, I'm going to get back to this. Anyway, you dizzy. Uh, I, it's got to be tough what you're going through. Um, never had children myself. Uh, just, you know, dogs. Never was married. So, uh yeah anyway and i know you don't have to be married to be a father <laughs> i don't know your situation but uh man this, i know this gotta be tough and i just i can't fully imagine not having children but uh anyway if y'all can in your heart find a way to uh contribute a little something and every little bit adds up man every little bit adds up and uh you dizzy i hope you can get back out there and start shooting videos man soon that's what your son would want you to do and that's what you enjoy doing i know you won't be in the best frame of mind and your old cheerful uh happy-go-lucky self at first but uh, you'll get back into it and and we miss you on youtube and uh my heart goes out to you man take care of you dizzy and uh more to come on that redneck trailer rebuild Y'all take care, and I'm going to post a link to your Dizzy's uh, uh, contribution site uh, in the links. If not, uh, you can go to you Dizzy 1969 on YouTube, and uh, there'll be links to it, I'm sure. And uh, more to come. I should be able to do this. <laughs> Excuse the finger. Damn it. Let's uh, let's see how this goes. I got good or started. Oh, I did find some cap screws, y'all. That's good right there. On oh, she's going. Ain't nothing like having a drill press. I couldn't do a lot of stuff without it. If I got the smart and drilled those axles for uh, Carter Keys before I welded them to the trailer yesterday <laughs> uh, I probably wouldn't be going through this
Ain't nothing that's gonna be precise. It was just an old uh, rat rod trailer. <laughs> rat trailer, excuse me. Alright. Now that I've done that, kill that. I don't need this clamp no more. I don't know why I left that on there. Uh, come over here to the old school desk and uh, next thing I'm going to be doing is uh, running this tap through here. And I'm not going to try to film that. I think she sits pretty level. What y'all think? Anyway. We'll go to the testing grounds.